Hi, everybody. Long time no see. I haven't been on in a while. Um, oh, excuse this. Excuse the way I look. I know I look like I have like mud in my hair, but what I'm doing is I am actually touching up my red hair and um what i have in my hair is actually red henna so i um that's how i get my hair red i buy red henna from the indian grocery store and that's how i do my my hair um so yeah i have this on i'm about to go work out do my second workout of the day soon so i just wanted to come on because i haven't been on in a while um but yeah, so I'm coming on to tell you why I've been away for a couple of weeks, why I haven't posted anything. Um, I've been kind of down, been a little depressed there. Um, you know, um, since January, I have had a lot of death around me, around me, a lot of death. Um... And it's just the last death that I had was my grandmother's brother, her older brother, um, which he was like 92 or 93, which probably, um, you know, he lived a long life. He did. And not that, you know, but my Uncle Lester, he was a big part of my life growing up. You know, when I was growing up, he was a big part of my life. Um, even when I was in high school and stuff, he, he and he had always been very supportive of, of me growing up and stuff. And um, even issues that went on with my mom and stuff growing up and just making sure that me and my brother was okay. He was always there for, for us. And so, and even when I was in high school and when my mom had moved to another part of Connecticut and I had moved in with an aunt of my aunt and uncle um so I could finish high school and where I started um he was supportive he picked me up from cheerleading uh camp I'm a cheerleading practice paid for me to go to cheerleading camp a couple of times to help pay and just always had been supportive him and his wife even though my aunt <laughs> kind of mean people say but they they you know, he was supportive. And so, yeah, so that had really had gotten me down. And, you know, it just been a lot of deaths, you know, my uncle. And then, you know, just been a lot that's just been going on. And um, I had had an issue with my dad past couple of months, for months. And, <coughs> and um, you know, I love my father. I consider myself to be a daddy's girl. But now it's come a point in my life where I have to take care of myself. And my husband's been telling me this for a long time, that sometimes you just have to have that fucking attitude. And just, you know, if it becomes between you being healthy and take care of yourself and somebody else, you know, you have to just sometimes say fuck it because it just gets to be too much. I have four kids in this house. They're, you know, everyone knows my kids are 13, five, seven, and three. And I have to be healthy so I can take care of my kids the way that I want to take care of them. And um, so, yeah, so this weekend, you know, Sunday, I called out from work and I told them to, to mark me off on Tuesday, too, because, you know, if you call out in my job, no matter if you call it the first day, you might as well call it the second day, too, because it's still one occurrence. So it's one call out. So I'm just taking some time just for myself and just to get myself together. I feel better today. Um, and then, I, you know, I was on my period, too. So all these emotions and stuff, has just been too much. And, uh, you know, I didn't go to my uncle's funeral because I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do another funeral. It was just team too much. Um, and, um, yeah. And then, oh, and then also just uh, watching Eclecnista, one of the vloggers that I follow. You know, she had did a vlog like a week ago about taking your shit back, meaning take your life back, you know, get a hold of yourself when you start feeling a little bit out of control. And that's what I'm doing. I'm taking my, my shit back. And uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, you guys mentioned that I like to go work out, which a lot of people know that I do work out. I'm a big woman, but I do work out. I've been on this um, healthy lifestyle journey for probably about, a year and a half, almost two years. And um, I've lost, 
I didn't lose. I haven't lost as much weight as I wanted to, but no woman is never satisfied with her weight. But I have been steadily losing, and um, so yeah, so that makes me feel better. And I, you know, I have high blood pressure. There's no secret that I have high blood pressure. I have high blood pressure, and so to keep my blood pressure down, I like to work out. Um, and also, I'm on Fitbit. If anyone has a Fitbit and um, you want to friend me, I'll leave the email that I use for my Fitbit tracker in the description box. But I basically came on to thank Eclectnista for those vlogs that she had put up about depression and, this, and stuff. And for the advice that she put in those vlogs, I'd like to thank my husband for always giving me advice and for dealing with uh, and for you know, dealing with the stuff that I, when I'm going through something, dealing with that, um, my best friend, she, um, is always there for me emotionally. Um, and she's just always there for me. I'm close. I'm really close to her. She's like a sister to me and you know, my brother, and, you know, I, you know, love my brother. I could call and talk to him, but you know, he's far away. So my best friend, Tracy and my husband, they're, they're my two, the two closest people that are in my life right now that really just, when I'm going through something, they are really there for me. But that's why I've been away. Cause I've been down. I haven't been okay. And you know, I'm not going to vlog when I'm not okay. When I'm not okay, I'm just not going to pretend like everything's all, oh, hunky dory. Everything's I'm happy. I'm just not going to do that. I'm not going to pretend like I'm happy when I'm not. And so I just didn't feel like recording anything. You know, I have vlogs where I started recording stuff and then I didn't finish. So I think I'm going to do some what I call mashup vlogs and I'm just going to put footage together and because um, I don't want to waste my footage. So, yeah, but I just had to take time for myself and and the, just you know, take care of me because I know there's only one me and no one can take care of me the way I can take care of me. Um, so yeah. And so that's all I have to say, but I will give the advice to anybody else out there who's watching this vlog. If you're feeling um, sad about something or you're not feeling right emotionally and you're just not feeling good, um, you know, talk to, you know, somebody that's really close to you about it. And if that doesn't work for you, you know, go to the doctors and, you know, if you have to take a med or whatever to make yourself feel good while you're going through what you're going through, you know, do it. Do by all means, do whatever you have to do to take care of yourself because there's only one you um, and no one can take care of you the way you can. And so that's how I'm going to end this. So I hope everyone have a blessed day. I thank you for watching. You know, just thank you. For, um, thank you for watching this vlog. Um, and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.